Okay. I got my super strong coffee. It's not even coffee. It's like a ground espresso something. I ran out of regular coffee, so now I'm drinking this crazy potent super caffeinated liquid. Man, wow, that's strong. All right. I'm going to continue on this painting. And it's based on, here's my computer screen is what I get to see. So I can see, I can see uh, like a live view here. And actually here's the Facebook over here on the right. So this down here, actually I can, my screen is actually bigger. I can see more. Oh, holy shit. I didn't know I could do this. Oh, okay, cool. So this is actually my whole screen. My whole screen's bigger. That is so trippy. Okay, so here, woo, in the infinite loop, I can see the painting flat on from my camera because um, right up here is my camera and it's pointing down at an angle because my canvas is actually um, propped up by a two inch piece of duct tape. And the reason is, so my viewing angle is, is, is a bit elevated, but for you, it's kind of flat. That's the genius of my technology. Woohoo! So, um, go back to here. I'm looking at this painting. I didn't know I could do that. I'm going to do that from now on. Look at that. So, I wonder if I could scroll. No, I can't scroll. This is a painting that was stolen yesterday from a house. Hi, Christine. Good morning. <clears throat> this is a painting that was stolen from a house very close to where I grew up as a kid. And I've been in that neighborhood many, many times. It's, like, it's called the Annex, and it's in Toronto. And the name, it's called Sun Gleams, colon, I'll put it over here, I'm looking over here. Sun Gleams Autumn North Saskatchewan. It's The one that was stolen was 32 by 40. Mine is, uh, I think, 16, no, uh, no, it's like, I don't know, I can't remember. Mine's not big. Actually, I wrote it down somewhere. I, don't, uh, I can't go to my Facebook page. How do I get there? Oh, screw it. Anyhow, mine's not as big. But the point is, I was like, decided to paint it in a kind of like, like when you think about it, if it was, if it was privately owned and now it's stolen, no one's ever going to get to see it. And this is the only shitty photograph I could find of it. So just for the hell of it, I thought I'd paint it in a, in a kind of like a tongue in cheek way. Like I'm stealing it back from the thieves. So as, as I, I skip between the two, you know, it's really obviously very different. And, and this is A.Y. Jackson's, you know, he, his is like a thousand times better. And, but I'm going to try to make it my own sort of painting. Yeah, and I, I don't usually, uh, it's very rare for me to like work directly off of someone else's thing. I've done it a few times, like maybe five or six times, but they were very specific purposes. Like one was for a TV show. A TV commercial, and one was for a like a high school assignment. So this is kind of like you know, I'm, I'm, I just want to make it very clear where you know I'm literally copying his stuff by looking at the painting on my screen, and it's not a it's it's a very crappy. See, this is the picture frame, and they they whoever took a photo of it, they obviously they cropped it off. So I kind of have to guess what's up here and what's below, but. Uh, yeah, so anyhow, that's what I plan to do today. So I got my strong coffee. I got a good selection, my short list of selection of brushes here. Um, there's an 80% chance I'm going to spill this coffee because it's near my right hand. Um, I got my water, fresh water. I've got my thing, my schniggles, whatever you want to call this thing, palette thing. And then, can I do the zoom thing? I don't know if it'll go over there. Boop, 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 boop. Way over here, no, I can't do it. Anyway, on the left over here, I've got like a whole box of barely, like almost used up paints that I want to kind of use up. Let me just center this thing. Let me zoom in a bit. Oh, too much. Okay, that's, that's, that's not bad. Okay, that looks good. All right, so, oh, thanks. Love what you do, thank you. All right, first things first. Let's pick out a, a brush. I think this one. I like this one. It's like uh, kind of pointy. It 
looks like it looks like I, I bent it at one point right here. Kind of like. All right. Which was a way where I could also. Oh, I could probably put another little picture in picture of the screen up, but that's. I'd have to figure out how to do that. Okay. Allergies for my dog. I blow my nose a lot just because I'm allergic to my dog. Hey, bonjour, Marlene. Bon matin. Je peux parler un peu de français, mais je peux. Je ne peux pas comprendre. No, je peux comprendre more than I can speak. Uh, damn. So here's an example of, 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 of one of like a plethora of these almost dead. Yeah, this is, that's dried up. Damn, I thought I could scoop a little bit out of there. If I was really desperate, I probably could. I probably could. I would cut the metal. Oops. These, uh, these things come in these like sort of tin containers. I could cut it, but it's just too much work for what it looks like. Okay, let's check out this one. This one. Okay, this one only. Son of a gun. The only way I can get stuff out of here is to take a brush that I'm not going to use right now. I'm going to just shove it in the, the end there and then scoop it out. And then I'll just try to try to um, utilize whatever little paint's left. So with white, uh, what I'd like to do is I'd, I'd like to put white around my palette in different spots because white is one of the things that I mix the most with colors because I, I guess and that's not always the case I just think so with this series of paints these are Windsor Newton water-based oil paints I find that they come out of the tube very intense like, and also very dark so to find the color that you would expect them to be you kind of need to mix them with a bit of white right, so I didn't get much out of there I'm just happy to. Oh, here's another white one. So bear with me while I do this. Oh shit, a whole bunch of words. I'm from Montreal. Oh yeah, I uh, I used to live in Montreal. I'll speak English. Oh god, see that's the thing. When I lived in Montreal, every time I tried to speak French, everyone always replied back to me in English. I was like, God damn it, I want to speak French. Hello, speak English. I do that sometime. I'm not sure what you're talking about. There's Cheryl. Good morning. Oh, you speak English. That's good. I wish I could speak more French. There's just not really an opportunity. Really, that much here. Okay. All right. So I got. So here's what I like to do. Is I like to put spots of white and then I'll find the colors that I want okay uh, yeah maybe I'll do uh, my hands got m messy quickly okay I'm gonna wash my hands hold on a second Cutting the tube, yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Cutting the tube. I'm too lazy to even cut the tube. I just sort of just rip it, and then you get those little last little bits of paint come out. <laughs> okay, so what colors do I need? Hello, good morning, Michelle. Asiavate. Are you Italian? Hey, are you Italian? I lived in Italy once when I was very young. I was 17 or 18. I was in Italy for a little while in Siena. I went to an art school in Siena. And my Contrada won the horse race. Very exciting. Okay. So, 
what colors do we need? I'm, so right now I'm looking at Jackson's, A.Y. Jackson's painting. I already have this orange, I have enough. I'm really not good about putting the caps on things. <clears throat> That's why I need a proper painting studio so I can leave messes and not worry about it. I'll do that once my paintings sell for for a million dollars a piece. That's that's when I'll get a painting studio, right? Just a million bucks. I don't ask for much. Okay, what is this? Oh, this is more of a. This is a, a very. Yeah, I don't. This red is is almost a. Uh, it's a strange blood red. And it's it's almost a purple red. I can't I can't see. It's too covered up. I'm at an age now where I definitely need glasses. I actually someone I don't even know where I got them. I got a pair of these like cheapo Sharpers Drug Mart five dollar glasses, and and I said now I use them. I, like I'll be on my laptop, like in bed, reading my laptop, and I like I put on these like five dollar glasses. So I should probably, and I'm like, whoa, these actually work well. Because I find recently I'm like looking at stuff going, what, what the hell? Okay, so I'm, I'm going through and adding back some of the greens I was working with, some of the colors I was working with yesterday. And these are a few different types of greens. And then definitely the cerulean blue. Where should I put the blues? Maybe I'll put the blues. Yeah, I'll try to put the blues back here in the same place. Now, what what else could I use? Got some blues. Like this, I could probably this would probably be enough to mix the colors I want. Although I think I need one more blue. What is, what is this thing? This thing looks like it. Looks like it could be a blue. Blue or a purple. Oh, more text. You don't sound that old. Yeah, well, I'm almost 50. I am very close to 49. But I sound like a 12 year old. Oh shit, what the fuck is that? That's purple. That's a purple. Yeah, put the purple over here. It's not what I wanted. Ah, you son of a bitch, come here. I, I I credit Esta Louis La Painter. Is that something like is that Esta is that oil paint? Yeah, it's oil paint. It is water based oils. Which is why I'm using my hands. Because I could just wipe them off I could just wash it off with Okay, I need that end of the brush. I just can just wash it off with uh soap and water. I would Definitely not do this if this was real. If this was traditional oil paints, because there's all kinds of toxic crap in them. <sighs> there's all kinds of like, and also you have to mix traditional oils with stuff like turpentine, which is really stinky. Like you need a really well vented, ventilated space. Like I'm talking big ventilation that's so pumping the air out because that stuff is. I painted in places where it was a big room, but after a couple hours, it just becomes like you don't even notice how toxic and intense. Oh, this is way more green than I'll need, but I just want to sort of get rid of all this. I, and every once in a while, I screw up. In fact, this one, this is a real oil paint. Fuck. I don't know what, like how it's possible because I only go... When I buy my paints, these are... Like I was baited from the, from the same section, so maybe... The, Maybe I wasn't looking carefully enough, and they might have stocked the wrong kind. But this is a uh, this is real oil paint. That one, you could just smell it. Um, kind of a bit of a drag. I have that yellow. Ah, oh, you son of a gun! What are you? I got green. I'm looking for. What is this? Okay, this is like a deep purple. Or deep blue. A lot of, a lot of yapping here. Not a lot of painting. Oh, screw it. Screw it. I'm not getting paid for this. I'm gonna do what the hell I want. 
That is a purple. You son of a gun. Uh, here's the blue. Hello, blue, I think. All right. And I got my brown. I actually need more brown than I normally would. Where's that brown? I'm going to give myself some more brown. I'm going to give myself two doses of brown so I can make three doses of brown so I can make different browns, basically. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands again. I know it's annoying, but. I know some oil-based paints when you can't really it doesn't wash with soap and water so it's like it just doesn't come off just scrape really hard okay all right Woo. all righty so let's have a quick peek at what I'm doing I'm looking look at this one here and first thing that comes to mind is I put this rock, like what I did is I, I've been looking on my screen and then I look down at my painting and sometimes I, I look at my painting here because it's actually, it's a, it's a flatter perspective. Um, but if I sort of flip through them, I can, I might be able to like line them up. I, oh shit. And you can see my rock. Wait, how do I line this up if I do it this way? Okay. Boop. Ah, oh, come on. It's goddamn um, apple mice, which are only one click. It's just the whole surface. It's just hard to control. Okay. Come on. Okay. So I think this is a little trick to see how you're doing. Obviously, they're not the same size, so I have to resize it, but I'm too lazy. Wait. If I did this. Wait. Boom. Sometimes there, maybe there. Okay, clearly. Wait, boop, boop. I'm gonna move this over here. That's good enough. I don't, I don't care if it's that perfect. But what I've noticed is, if you look at this rock here, mine is over to the left more. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna move it a little bit. No one else knows at the bottom. Look, mine down here, it ends here when this weird shape should come over to about here, just past the halfway mark. And on mine, it, it ends here. So I should bring this more over here. Oh, yeah, it's all kind of different. Like, look at my tree starts down here when it should sh sh start over here. Uh, what else? What else looks weird? I think I have to bring the hill up a bit. I was just eyeballing it like my curve is too low it should be up here a bit okay so the only thing that really I would change to make more like his is going to be maybe I'll leave it exactly there is going to be this rock which I'll move it more to the right and this whole chunk of an area I gotta I gotta bring it down over here so it flattens out and then there's a little valley here okay so flatten so flatten out in the valley here, and then, so it's right here. That looks like about almost the halfway point. Okay. Bonk. So it would shoot, wait, what the fuck? Oh, I see. So the valley, let's put the, okay, if the valley's here, it should be about here. And then I'll look at my painting, I'll get a paintbrush. And I'll stick with a, I'll get a color. Let's try a little bit of a brown. I'll just use a brown for like an outline. All right. 
Morning, Gina. Oh, you already said morning. Okay. Oh, wow, that paint is so st that oil paint is really strong. Woo! Wonder. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. So right, so I think I was gonna I was gonna come in a bit lower. This one I think I said it would be about here, right? So it probably would end about there. And in fact, so here's the weird thing. His painting is cut off, so it might actually go much lower. That's why my whole perspective is weird is weird because in the reference painting it's 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 narrower than like the aspect ratio is much shorter and and wider than this than the than the canvas the aspect ratio so there's a whole bunch of painting missing at the top and the bottom and that's i think that's why my my thing is off is because i'm I, I often look at the edges to look for reference points to see if if the um the relative shapes are in the right place but because that one is wrong like not not truly relative to each other because it's uh it's cut off like this thing actually probably comes down so uh I mean, it really doesn't matter why. I just like to yabble on for a bit. So just ignore what I'm saying. If this thing I said was over here more, right? And I think this one, I said this thing was higher. Felt like, yeah, when I looked at it, it was higher here. And then I think I said this thing was more, more over here. So let's just say it comes like this. And let's just chop off that part there. And let's just, let's maybe bring that there. And then have it start more over here. That might work. Let's do that thing where I. F that's like a, a good way to test. Okay, so a little bit better. So, oh my goodness. This is a okay, now I feel like I'm cheating. I just figured out a way to cheat. I never liked when people like use photographs and then they they do they do those uh they do like a grid pattern and they copy it to theirs. So I feel like I'm cheating. This is, I just invented a way to cheat. Okay, look at this. Let's call, what should we call this technique? This painting cheat technique. Oh my God, you can really see how far off some places are. Like I can click here and I see that, is that that dark spot? Let me just look at the spot. I don't know if you can see my hand. Oh, I can't see my hand, obviously. Hmm, maybe, there's gotta be a way I, I kind of had it right the first time. There might be a, a way to cheat. And one of my cheat is like, you know, I kind of feel this is cheating. Like this is totally cheating what I'm doing right here. Cheating on many levels because this is someone else's painting. Okay, so it's all, it's, it's fucked up. I, I fucked it up. <sighs> okay. This is a way to cheat my friends. Cheat my friends. Cheat my... Oh, look at that. What a... So many things are wrong with it. Okay, I'm gonna try not to do this. I'm gonna try not to do that. This just, yeah. Let's just, oh. Okay. Let's just go from here. All right. Much more of a slope coming down here. Ah, uh, fuck! I want to know. Oh, now I want to know. I'm like addicted to knowing, to see how far off I am. Hmm. It's gonna be hard to resist this. It looks like there's a. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll just paint these shadows in like he's got. I think it's brown and purple. So that's the other thing about this particular painting. Okay, so here's what I'm doing. The reason why I needed a couple of browns is because, like, for example, here I need a brown purple for. Oh, you can't see. What I need is a brown purple for here. There's this when I look again. This is a shitty photograph. It's a it's a crappy photograph of the painting. 
And, but I imagine that's like a brown purple there. So that's why I need, that's why I make extra little spots. Um, and it's too, too, uh, too intense. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of white. It's way too much white. Just even the, a fraction of the white just brightens it up so, so much. And look at that. It's actually very blue. I had too much blue in there. Now this might be actually, it's still very strong, good for like outlining stuff or just like sort of shading areas. Like I think he has like, here's a little swoop. And down here. So right now, just, this is just like ugly and rough. And then over here, no, this is, the only place that he has this color actually is right about here. On this weird little, I don't know what the fuck this thing is. So let's go back to here. Actually, you know what? It looks like this color could be up here. This color could, okay. If that's where that starts, maybe I should bring this down a little bit. There's like these little, little kind of hills. A little hill. Right, and then he's got this kind of funny little mountain top, and then over here, what did I? Let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Hmm. I'm I'm looking up here. I'm just looking at this shape. See that shape there? When I look at mine. It flattens out. So what I need to do. Maybe I'll just, I just want to get the contours right. So I'm going to go here, look at it a bit. Boop, 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 boop. This probably should come up like that. It kind of comes down, so. Well, obviously, I need to go over with the. Okay, so if you ever screw up like this, I need to, I went too high here. When I paint the sky, I'll just paint in the mount, like I'll paint the sky lower to make that groove because I, I went too high. There's supposed to be a groove there. Okay. All right, so over here, let's take this color and I think it's got a nice definition of these, these little guys. It'll, this whole painting will all start to get, like come together. Once I start doing, what I like to do is I like to do like, uh, let's just call it like a, a low resolution version that's, that's, that starts with just blotches of colors, right? And then as I add more brush strokes, I can start adding uh, like detail lines, let's call them. And so the, the whole painting, like, you know, you sort of have to imagine it first. This is easy for me because, you know, I have all the decisions are made already for, for this painting. But when I do it myself, like I do my unoriginal thing, it evolves. And that's kind of like half the fun is not knowing what's going to happen. I don't know. I just felt like the reason why I'm doing this is it felt just so weird that there was, first of all, a $200,000 painting that someone had in the neighborhood I grew up in. Like, this is just crazy. Like, it could have been just a fluke. Maybe the guy, the, the guy, the, the people who had it, maybe they were just like at a garage sale, you know, had one of those like crazy scenarios where they bought a, a painting at a garage sale or was they inherited it or something. So first of all, I just think that was crazy. Like, just $200,000 painting in someone's house. And also, how do they know it was there? Like, that sounds like maybe someone must have, like, when people have painting, private paintings, it's not like they broadcast it out to, to people. You know what I mean? So there's got there's got to be some sort of backstory to it. As far as okay, what I'm doing here is I'm looking at the tree, th this little guy here, and looking at mine, and you can see. Oh, also my river, my river should like come right around here. Yeah, I'm doing like pretty much the opposite of what, what I, what I, 
the standards I set for myself. I just, this is just so fun to do. Like, this is so, like, you look back at yours and you can see how you fucked it up. Okay, I'm going to go here and, oh, oops. Ah, oh, I just deleted that thing. I just deleted that something. What did I delete? Oh, I think I deleted one of my camera views. Oh, well, I still have this one and that one. Top, front, oh, maybe I didn't. Okay. Okay, so where was I? Boo, 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 boo. Hmm. Uh, Josh, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's over here somewhere. It's up higher. It's so much higher, isn't it? Boop, 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 boop. And I could be screwing up because I uh, maybe I didn't line up my painting perfectly. <laughs> uh, well. Hmm. Yeah, this thing definitely comes up higher. I wonder what the rest of the painting looks like. Is it up here? Kind of, it does a hard dip here. Boop, 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 boop. Wait, where is it? Boop, 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 boop. Even more over here. So, people of the internet, don't do this. This is totally... Look how much I screwed it up. Oh, I can't I can't stop doing that. I'm just so I'm addicted to it now. Look at this. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, you moron. It's like way over here. I need a, let's just do a different color because I already have so many dark colors. Let's just do this for the hell of it. Let's take a red. And let's draw with the red simply because I can see it better. So if I do that line, it's actually more like maybe that was the right place. Okay, I'm making myself a little crazy here. Oh, cheater alert! Okay, what's uh, what is in here? There's like a whole wait. Let's get some. Some of those weird kind of colors going in just to make that surface like fill in where it should be. So it's like. Where's that thing? Did I get that in the right place? Boop, boop, boop. That's not in the right place. I'm looking at this little weird shape on the bottom. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I just realized it. Look, if this painting ends here, that's where this little shape should be. In my painting, Look how much lower it is. It's, so everything, all this stuff along the bottom is supposed to be up here. That's what's wrong. 
Ha, huh, because my painting's bigger. This little loopy doopy should be like up here. Wait, uh, where's my, that is why it looks terrible. It should be up here. Look, this, it should be up here. Come on, up here. So my shape is got. I just have to pretend, like, figure out what's on the bottom below it. So even, for example, this this little bit here should. Oh, it actually is there. I did do that right. Yeah. So that's. So this darkness is this kind of weird, curvy, weird, rocky thing he's got and there's like this big kind of like shadow thing here and you've got like little bits of things here and a little bit like here and he's got like another shadow here and another shadow here and this is where he has a stupid looking thing which is kind of ugly but it's, it's got this like ugly sort of blue blue hint on it and it comes down and he has more of this ugly blue, blue green that kind of comes into here. Look at this ugly blue green stuff he's got. What were you thinking about, A.Y. Jackson? Now, it could simply be the crappy photo I have. So this would be more purpley, purpley, should be more purpley. Um, let's do a quick little snap, 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 snap. Like this thing's too big. So where's that picture? Pew, pew, pew. Okay, let me prepare this. This color. Pew, 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 pew. Where is this? I'm gonna put a highlight. See this little bit of a tiny little highlight? I'm gonna use that as a reference point visually for for the stuff around it see there's like a little or i'm gonna i'm gonna put a little lightness right there on my painting now i regret really not lining this thing up i regret because i could have kind of screwed up the whole thing as far as trying to yeah I, oh, the perspective is all different the perspective is all different I think I should play this song by Led Zeppelin, Ramble On, because that's what I do. Ramble On. Not Ramble On, it's something else. Over here, it colors that. It's like almost like a yellow. So let's bring this yellowy, bluey, green thing and look at it up there. Where is it up there? I like this painting. At first, I hate. At first, I was like, "This painting, you know, meh, no big deal." But the more I'm looking at it, the more I'm kind of digging it. I'm appreciating this painting a lot more now that I look at it. And one thing is, yeah, for sure, he was painting on a larger canvas because the effect of his brush strokes are from large. Like you just can't. It's hard to do like little details when your paint your canvas is smaller um wow this is a really addictive technique of cheating this is very it's kind of like it's hard not to want because you know what it is you want to know like how close you were i want to know okay you know what Oh, I might also be, oh, ooh, I just realized. No, no, it should be okay. All right. Uh, I really should have, um, uh, where did I, okay. There's like a little bit of here. This is, comes down here. Okay, let's try not to do that for a little while. Just for a little while, Josh. Just chill out on the whole, that whole thing there, buddy. You can do it. You don't need it. You don't need that fake ass painting technique. You just do 
Let's just give me that. Oh, I can't help it. I want to know. I want to know if my thing is right. Okay. So, like, that's too. Let's just bring that in. This painting might take me a little while, actually. The more I think about it, the more I think it might be a little while. So my goal with this thing is to steal his idea, and then, if it's even possible, to make it better. That would be my goal. Now I'm not saying I can do that, but I'm gonna try. You know, you always have to set goals for yourself here. Now one thing I know, I probably have to pick, so I'm starting off with a kind of a thin paint. So we need some green here. What did I say was over here? It was too, uh, where is that thing? Boop. Boop, 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 boop. All right, so. Okay, so. Oh, that's a crazy. That's a crazy. Quite a lot to do here. Quite a lot to do. This is going to take me a bunch of painting sessions. I have to go a lot slower than I normally would. Hmm. Okay, so what I was talking about before is like after, like if you want to correct something, so I'll just correct that little dip. Now that's definitely way more intense than in this painting. But maybe this is where I'm allowed to like have some creative freedom and just uh, ooh, that's yucky, that's yuck. And here are these ridiculous god lights, uh, god rays, whatever you want to call them. They come down. This. <laughs> Oh, do, 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 do. It's like Monty Python. These little lights of rays of light. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Ooh, that's super white. Yeah, I have to like lighten up this whole area. There is just so much to do that it's just I gotta bring these things in. I gotta do some rolling. He's got the rolling clouds kind of happening, which I have to do some like dark lines onto. And over here, it's like it's all brighter, sorta. Okay, so should I? Hmm, I'm definitely being influenced to make this. A much more somber muted uh, color scheme than I would make only because of the photo the photo is much more somber than I would 
typically do. I kind of, I'm always drawn to very intense colors. That's just me. I can't help it. So the question is, do I, do I, and also, you know what? The photograph looks like it's got a yellow tint to it. So like up here, I'd have to like add yellows to sort of match it. Like even, even these clouds up here, wait, these, these clouds up here are kind of have a yellow tinge. Wait, does this edge of this world, I'm going to put, wait, this distance here, eh, it feels about the same, close enough. Okay. Um, it's like the, where's it? Okay, I'm going to go a little extreme. I'm going to go a little extreme here just to mark it. Okay. So. Wait, boop, 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 boop. These things can afford to be higher, right? Like there. Boop, 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 boop. And these things can afford to come over here like that. Boop, boop, boop. And whatever this thing was, it comes up higher. Let's hit those clouds. Let's hit that cloud. It's like right here-ish. Let's just go a little crazy with the colors. Let's just go say screw it. Put some bright, like this is that one kind of bright cloud thing. Yeah, wow, well, this is this is weird. This feels I'm beginning to feel like guilty. Let's put another extreme cloud just to match his so I'm trying to like this one up here. See, at this point, you might as well just put a photograph behind your thing and paint it. That's kind of what I'm doing. I'm totally cheating. But it's a Saturday morning. And I just don't care right now. I just don't care. So that's sort of like... What I'll probably end up doing is... Uh... Yeah, I, I just want to get the... I just want to get the... I want it to feel, I want it to really feel like his, but then it becomes mine. Like I'm gonna take it over and there's gonna be some crazy shit probably I'll do to it. But first I wanna say, A.Y. Jackson, you know what it is? It's like I'm getting to, this is I think part of it. It's like I get to know the, the painter a little bit. I don't really know A.Y. Jackson like I do other artists. Like for me, A.Y. Jackson was like, yeah, his group of seven, but I kind of passed by his stuff. Like, I actually don't even like Lauren Harris's stuff that much, but at least I know Lauren Harris's because it's so much more distinctive. A.Y. Jackson's style, it's like, first of all, Tom Thompson's stuff, his is just pure fucking beauty, you know, like gorgeous. And A.Y. Jackson, he's good. He is for sure good. He's a solid ass painter, but. His stuff is not as original, I find. Like, I actually made a mistake the other day when I said, I was talking about A.Y. Jackson, talking about curvilinear and all that kind of stuff, which is true for his stuff, but I was actually thinking of Lauren Harris, which is very different, far more abstracted, simple shapes. Um, Whew. Okay, where was it here? Let's try putting my left hand. I'm very right-handed. I can't do shit with my left hand. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, no, I can't do it. Okay. What I'm, what I'm looking at right now is I'm looking at my little bush here 
and looking at his and look how it's his is much smaller it has like this little out well it's not an out, outline it's just the paint behind it so look at mine here maybe what i'll do is this let's do a reference point let's put what if i could do this oh this is like super cheating oh i just thought of another idea i put hold my brush here oh no i can't see the brush if i could overlay them that would be the ultimate cheating okay, i'm just going to put it Let's put a little dot here. Let's try this as it. So there's my reference dot. Boink! And if I click away, it's about there, isn't it? So now, wait, there's two dots. Let me make a, let's really make it a dot. Boink! Wait, or, I'll look at that. So it's like, it gotta, it gotta bring it in. With a darker color. Wait, I think he's got like a little a little mark there. Okay, I made I just made that little mark. Pink. And I click here. And I can see it's this is too low. So it's more like up here. Huh. This is kind of what I'm doing with my eyes. I'm kind of like looking for reference points. And then Okay, so if that's that little dot, which is kind of close, kind of. Oh, so I've also fucked up because it looks like my canvas edge is more to the left than this painting. So you know, I can't be too pick. I can't be too specific because they're not lined up hundred percent. But what I can do is wait. What I can do is wait. What the fuck? I don't know. So let's just pretend that this is a shape that kind of comes like this or something. Okay, so I can see what I where I have to make it better and stuff. That's fine. That's fine. It's a little bit better, a tiny bit better. But what it also means is that this line. So this line. Oh, let me bring in a different color. This line starts about here and comes up. Right, and then this goes off the edge and kind of comes, kind of does something like that, whatever, right? And then we got some yellow, yellow bits coming up here, and there's a whole bunch of yellow, like yellow. Oh, this is so much more slow going. This is monotonous, man. Like, now I realize why, one of the reasons why I don't like doing this is because it's fucking, it's not fun. This is not fun. This is more like, it feels like work. You know, this doesn't feel like creation. This feels like, yeah, this feels very much like a, like an exercise, like a, like a, Way more fun to do your own stuff. Oops, should be brown. Should be brown. Should be brown. Blah 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 blah. I'm talking shit. I like to talk shit when I'm drawing, painting because I can. Because no rules. Because you can do. Ooh, that's kind of crap. Fantastic. This thing is probably like this. And this thing comes here. And this thing comes here, and that's where those little birches are going to be. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop. Wait, is that the right thing I'm painting? Okay. Here, this is all supposed to be like a.
What color are you? What color are you? Okay, now I'm going to start doing a little bit of my own stuff. Like I'm absolutely, absolutely copying and looking at his. And now I'm going to start doing maybe my own kind of brush strokes. Maybe. And my own colors. Like I just think it would be nice to have this rich blue, which I don't see up on his. And... And I'm gonna take these lines like that's kind of cool what he did here. I'm gonna look at that. He 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 took a a little these fine lines, and he went up. Oh, here's a little hill. Here's a little hill. Yeah, I'm digging your painting, Ay. Eh? I see what you're doing. I used to just, you know how I I, I knew I could understand an artist is when I went I was about thirteen, is when I kind of knew I could talk to Van Gogh. I was at the I went on a school trip to the uh, what's it the uh, Art Gallery of Ottawa or whatever it is? Oh National Art Gallery? I can't remember what whatever the hell it's called. Okay, so right here I know he like if I was to really think about it, I'd do the shapes like his, but I'm just gonna do my own little goddamn shapes. So fuck it. And also too I'm gonna like for example I'm gonna put my own little lines here. Right? Why not? Alright. Anyhow um, what I'm trying to say is, went to Arc of Ontario, no, Ottawa, and there was uh, Van Gogh's irises, and I stayed pretty much the whole time. Like this class, other class went off, and I stayed. And back then, they didn't they let you do what you wanted. Like you know, these days, having one kid unaccounted for for like a couple hours would probably be like a national event. But uh, yeah, so I stayed in front of that Van Gogh's uh, irises, and I just looked at his brush strokes, and I and I could see, holy shit, this is where he he started painting one way, and I could see he painted over a different direction, which you could only tell by the the contours of the paint. You could see those lines, and I actually went and I did my first one of my here. Check this out. One of my first acrylic paintings ever was. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm on my view. One of my first acrylic. Wait, front. One of my first acrylic paintings I've ever done was when I was like 12 or 13, whatever. And based on Van Gogh's iris, hold on a second, I have it upstairs. To look at I think I was about 13 and I was specifically thinking of Van Gogh's irises based on that day I went there you could tell it's much more rudimentary maybe if I do the up, up cam I might be able to see it better okay I can't go low enough so anyhow but yeah so I noticed uh, this is he, what he did, I'm out of breath, I'm so fucking fat. What he did was he uh, he had like lines going this way and then other lines kind of come this way and he did the, the blue outline strokes and, and yeah. So that was it. That was one of my first acrylic paintings and it was based on when I went to the Arc of Ontario, no, Ottawa to look at Van Gogh's irises I wanted to do something like that. And I remember when I was doing this being going, that's just nowhere near good enough because they're white big shapes. When, when he did it, he was like, it was all thick paint coming through. And I just remember just doing this and going, you know what, it's good enough for me. I'm just a little kid. I know, And also too, look, look at this. Shadow. This is what Van Gogh would do. So if there was light coming down, he put blue here, blue here, or I put blue here, blue here, because that would, you know, give a sense that there's light coming down. Oh, I'm so fucking tired from just walking upstairs. It's embarrassing. Okay. And I try to make a sense of light. I try to, so, so darker underneath where the, where the, um, 
leaves are folding. And this <laughs> to be up here, I was trying to think of like what these things these things were up here, and I just sort of made a pattern. I was like, ah, fuck it. Let me just let's just do this. So yeah. All right. So my, I'm having a little bit of a similar experience right now in that I'm like discovering A.Y. Jackson a bit. As I do this, I'm beginning to appreciate him more. I really wish I had the original here, but like, for example, what I'm looking at now is, is I'm looking at the details in here, which might be a little hard for you to see, but I can now see little brush strokes, the little tensional little brush strokes coming along here. And I am certain that this thing looks way better in real life. I'm 100% sure. Okay, so A.Y. Jackson, maybe I was just a little bit of a, an idiot by saying you were just average. You're pretty good. I think where my painting is going to start looking good is once I start doing these trees to add those shapes there. And when I start adding like proper colors in, I think it's going to like, yeah, like you can already start seeing like when I, the brightness coming here, it's starting to, to have more dramatic life to it. So I got to remember that this is just a photograph, a bad photograph, and that the real thing is probably beautiful. Like all up in here, he's got some nice oranges. So that's why I started to get washed with, I actually put oranges around here. In the, I don't know if you noticed, but at the very beginning, when I started doing this overwash, I purposely put more oranges down here because that's kind of coming through. Okay. Oh, I like I like now I really like up here what he's what he's done up here. That's nice. Let me steal your your stuff there. You don't mind, do you? Ay. Pretty sure you're dead. Well, I'm taking I'm taking some of your stuff, man. This is this is a this is like a respect thing. I'm respecting you. I'm 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 not pretending to do anything other than to look at how you did it and go on, okay, all right. I I see where you were coming from when you were doing this. I get it. I look at your brush strokes and I go, I, I, I was there with you, buddy, wherever the hell you were. I'm purposely not doing the trees now because I still really want to refine these shapes a bit. Yeah, so he has a nice green. Okay, AY, all right, AY. I'm gonna give you some respect. You are a good painter. These are nice. And I can see why this one was kind of like valuable. I get it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna absorb. It's like I'm the Borg. Like I like to absorb other artists, take them in, and then, and then becomes mine, and then I can use them again. Like uh, I like to internalize them. It's kind of straight. Wait, wait, is there two brush strokes? Wait, where's the other? Okay, I'm gonna do them my cheat. Okay, so this is like I was way off with that thing. It's way off, way off. So I'll just get rid of it and then start those ones over. And even with you, you were way off too, weren't you? So I'll start you over too. Yeah. Way out, way out. That's where the fun is. Way out, way out. 
I'm gonna destroy you to start again with you. Way up, way up. Let's walk up front of this. Maybe I'll just start by doing this. Yeah. I wanna build I wanna build build this up. So I need more. I'm starting with these greens, but he has some really nice like oranges coming in here. So I'm gonna like do an impression of his thing. So let me just put those greens and get some more of these uh I think I just kind of like this is more of a white he's got a bit of a white action happening right here don't you you son of a bitch I got you I got you don't worry and this one here this little green little blob wait make it more green let's make it more green let's make it more green 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 hey come on like I just said make it more green I like his little blobs. Those are kind of cool. I think I'm going to steal that. The green blobs. I don't like 100% oil. I don't know what you mean. How can you not have 100% oil? I do not understand what you're talking about. You don't like 100% oil. Let's find out where that yellow bit's okay. Let's find out where these things exist. It wasn't that far off. It's almost like here more. Whoa. Can't even see it. Okay, let's do it. Let's do a crazy color. Let's do a crazy fucking color. Let's just do oh that's the crazy color. Wait a second. If I want to, where's my paintbrush? Where's my paintbrush? Wait. Okay. Let's just do. Hold on a second. It's almost like right here. Wow. Why is the colors hardly even showing up on on the screen here? Maybe I gotta. Make them even more intense. Let's try this intense color. Yeah, it's down here, isn't it? It's right there. Oops. What do you mean, oops? I don't, even, I don't know what you're talking about. Like right here is this stuff. I'm gonna put some crazy orange in. It's like right here, and it's almost like is it like like that? It's like right here. I don't know why I'm having such trouble. Does that deep purple sing? I wonder. What? You're smoking the weed again? Oh wait, this whole but holy shit, there's a whole bunch of text. Oh my god. Sorry. Let me go let me show you what I just noticed. This thing was scrolled way down here. Uh Okay, wait a second. All right. Let me just read some of this. I think John just said the right thing. Art should hurt if you're doing it right. That is totally true. Although this is a different kind of hurt. This is a guilty kind of hurt. As I'm doing this, I feel like creepy fucking because I'm copying A.Y. Jackson. So John is totally – John Henry is totally right. Art should hurt when you're doing it. That's the way I feel. We can't see what you're doing. Uh, maybe if we, we can't see what you do. It will it will admit it when he gets it over his head and he doesn't get on with it and switch screens. Oh, did I fuck it up? Oh. 
Hello, dog. What? Wait. Christian, is that Nugget? The love. Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean? We can't see you. Looks sweet. Okay, what what did I do wrong? You can't see this? Can you guys see me? What I don't know what the fuck. I was just rambling on so much that maybe I, I had uh, something not working. I'll put that there. Oh, okay. People are laughing. You have a lot to read. Okay, so did I like? Did I have it? On, maybe I had it on the wrong screen. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm never, never pretended to be like a video, a video dude. Mm -hmm. It's important. Uh, okay, I gotta, all right, well, there's something I need to do. I will, maybe this afternoon. Oh, I'll try to come back this afternoon. I don't know what I did, guys. Maybe I, I screwed something up, apparently, because everyone was, like, laughing at me because I was being an idiot. Uh, so I don't, I don't know what I did wrong. And uh, maybe I'll try. To, I'll just try to figure out what it was. So, sorry, I don't know what I did wrong. Did you guys see me showing off this painting? Did you guys see me showing this thing off? Maybe I, I had the camera the wrong way. All right. Okay. I gotta go. I'm gonna try to do more of this thing a little later. Maybe this afternoon, maybe tomorrow. Anyhow, thanks for watching my madness. Bye.